CGC is sitting here with the very, very famous Michael Golden. Thank you so much for taking some time to talk to us today. The first question I'd like to ask you is, what would you say is your most famous piece of comic book art? They are all my children. I guess I'm mostly known for uh, the Doctor Strange work that I co-created, the Micronauts and Bucky O'Hare, oh, yeah, which has been fairly high profile as well. Uh, co-created Rogue. What do people bring the most for you to sign? Oh, there is no most. I'm all over the map. I, they bring up Marvel Fanfare, Doctor Strange, Walking Dead. I don't know if I could single it down to one piece. That's not a bad problem to have. <laughs> yeah, I won't complain. How did you end up breaking into the comic book industry? Well, I'm a commercial artist, have been a commercial artist since the late 60s. One of my clients back in the 70s just out of the clear blue one day said, well, you should be doing comic books. Now, I'm not a comic book fan. I didn't grow up reading comic books, but I didn't grow up in a vacuum either. I knew what they were. So when somebody actually suggested I do this, it actually intrigued me. Went to New York, got work at both Marvel and DC the same day. Wow. Realized a year later I couldn't make a living doing them <laughs> and went back to doing commercial work. But I love the medium so much. I love telling stories. This is actually the only chance I really get to illustrate because my commercial work is more graphic design than it is illustration. So I always keep coming back, let the editors and the art directors know that I'm up for some comic book work because I enjoy doing it so much. I think so many people know you as a comic book artist. What is some of the commercial work we would have seen of yours? Uh, Chunky Campbell Soup label, uh, the, Tide, no the Tide NASCAR, uh, the Man in Space mural at the Kennedy Space Center. Um, the underwater cafe at Epcot, which is no longer there because it flooded. No, but I love uh, that. <laughs> they were all team projects. They weren't just me. I used to do fashion illustrations for Playboy. What would you say is your favorite color? Teal green. Ooh, that's a good one. And that's... And I have to be that specific because it's not green and it's not blue-green, it's teal green. <laughs> Don't get it confused. Uh, what would you say is your favorite character to spend your time drawing? I don't have one. That's an easy question. And the reason I say that is because I am a commercial artist. Uh, my job is to make the product uh, and make the product come alive for an audience, a marketplace. So I don't bring any of my preferences or my baggage to that. Uh, you know, the agenda is to address the client's needs. In the case of comic books, it's the, the client is the audience, the mar you know, the marketplace. When I'm asked to do the Fantastic Four, I do the Fantastic Four the way they were done. And when I'm asked to do the Batman, I do Batman the way the audience likes to see it. And uh, I don't want to put my stamp on things. We appreciate everything that you do. Why, thank you. Michael Golden, ladies and gentlemen.